Good morning, welcome back to the woods and today for your visual entertainment I will be playing with my big chopper the top cell check day after last week bringing the falcon even thaw out I thought I'd bring something even bigger out this monster well first thing got a light of fire and I found a nice dead dry branch hanging off a tree on my way in and I brought it with me and I'm going to process that up now with this and get a fire going later on then there's a fallen dead which I have taken a chunk off further up the path I'm going to chop a chunk off that and process it show you what this thing is capable of and it's capable of quite a bit obviously you're not going to carve a spoon with this thing as far as wood processing is concerned, this is a monster. Now I brought my exotac light down me today.
There we go, part on. Yeah, that big wavy flame on the light, uh, it just doesn't want to get in there, you know. I'd much rather use like a jet light uh, or a match. I'm not sold on that light at all. I'm have a cup of tea now. In the time I took to process them two pieces of wood, my kettle's boiled and it was almost full. That's when hot fire. Well, as you could probably tell from that bit of fire lighting, that stick wasn't ideal, let's face it. I could have really done with a nice straight piece so I could have used this as a drawn knife but it wasn't happening I tried it and the stick was just too wavy but as a drawn knife this thing works amazingly well because you've got so much to hold on to I had to switch tactics it is perfect conditions today it's a lovely day it's been dry for I think a week so it's pretty easier to light the fire the sticks I used were from the floor and what came off the branch but yeah you can see this thing does the job not a lot of finesse with it mine well I got a bush tool with me anyway and I've got a Swiss Army farm I'm gonna go off now and I'm gonna chop up a decent sized piece of wood and bring it back and I've also got a new saw with me And this is a silky Gomboy 300 coarse curved blade. I've seen this for sale on a trade post and I couldn't resist it so I bought it. Not that I need another silky saw of mine, I've got quite a few. Unused, wasn't in the packaging but I couldn't resist it so I just bought it. So I'm going to use that when I bring the piece of wood back on the saw horse. One thing I should mention about this knife, the handle's rather large, but it's not overly large. It's, it's not too bad. Now, I bought it second hand, and the guy who had it before me had taken that down, because that's, when it comes, that's quite pointy. So it's obviously, he had a problem with it. So he rounded it off, which is good, because I'd have probably done exactly the same. But I usually use this with a lanyard. I got an orange lanyard. But when I picked this out of the box this morning, it wasn't on it. So I usually carry a lanyard or a neck carry in my pocket. So I'm going to adapt that as a lanyard. But I don't use them holes. I put it up the top <coughs> because that's a pretty useless spot to put a lanyard.
Well, that thing cuts like a beast, but I'm a bit of a clown. I put it in the log to be safe and to take a little photo and I cut through my lanyard. What a clown. That's life. Well, so you can see, that's a sizable piece, and it did do short work of it. What a difference a sharp blade makes, that flew through it. I just had a comment come through on my phone and uh, the guy's name's Hackney and Hackney just asked me what happened to the true spec trousers that you were wearing. Well, I'm wearing them now. It's just another thing on trousers, this will be quick, don't worry. These are excellent, these are really good trousers, but I've switched to the heli context most of the time for the simple reason they haven't got any stretchy bits so they will wear better i've been wearing these now for must be a year and they're extremely comfortable and they come in a short leg which is great and i'm very pleased with them so hackney just to let you know mate i am wearing them now and they are excellent trousers i got one little burn on them which i touched a very hot frying pan on So they do melt a bit easy, whereas cotton combat trousers don't. But that was me and my stupidity. Yeah, these are very comfortable trousers and I am very pleased with them. They're a bit more expensive than the Helicon Text and they probably take a bit more time to dry because there's a lot more material on them. But these are great trousers. Right, I'm going back to my cup of tea and then I'm going to split these big rounds up. Now this beast isn't really meant for splitting. This is meant for chopping and it excels. Let's face it, it's really good at chopping. It's quite a thin flat grind on it. It's slightly convexed, so that's a chopper. Now I'm gonna to attempt to split through this log and I'm gonna to attempt to do it axe style by coming straight down at it. Not ideal. And let's hope it doesn't fly off, smash the camera, or take my head off. I don't think it will. But who knows? That'll make for good viewing. Nobody will probably see it because I'll be dead. So there we are. I'll just take that nubbin off now, in case it gets in the way. I don't think it's going to work, but I'm going to try it anyway.
No. Let's forget that. Forget it even happened. I'm going to look for a knot for each section. So there's a knot there, there's a knot there. I'm going to place the knife there and I'm going to batten it through with my mallet. Well, that was quite easy, but then that's what you can do with such a big huge blade. Straight through a knot, no damage, hell of a tool. You guessed it, I want a piece of wood to feather. Fit with them, we're in business. I think that's a bit thick, so if I want fine ones, I need a thinner one. not working that well, but hell you're gonna light a fire with that, don't you? It will shave. I'm not going to bother doing it normal method. Or shall I? Shall I? Oh, I'll try it. It's a bit unwieldy for that. Well, there you go. Better work with the top cell chat, eh? Hell of a tool. I am now nicknaming it The Beast, so I've got Bertha and The Beast. I think it's one of them tools, you need a smaller knife with it, 
but damn it chops. Chops really well, almost as good as an axe. It's a good knife. I definitely rate the El Chete. But who the hell wants something that big? Me, obviously, because I bought it. It'll chop a hell of a lot better than, you know, like a Falkniven Thor, modern Bowie, Trailmaster, that kind of thing. But it is heavy, so if you're not particularly strong, stay away from it because it could get you into trouble. Apart from that, it's great. Hell of a tool. Well, that's me more or less done for today. I'm just going to burn what's left of my fire off now, get a quick cup of tea out of it, and then I'm off home. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. A thumbs up is always appreciated. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It will help my, my channel and the algorithm or whatever it's called. Until the next time, ta-ra. <laughs>